In today's Midday Fix, the Grand Crew event is coming up next month as part of the Chicago Gourmet. Greg, Greg Wade is here to talk, us more, talk to us about it more. He's also going to make an heirloom tomato tart. He's the managing partner at Publican Quality Bread. You and I were just talking bread. And help people understand why ingredients matter so much because there was so much backlash against bread a couple of years ago when people were like, oh, I can't eat carbohydrates. But but uh, so we we truly believe that um, that it's not uh, that it's that it's that you're eating bread. It's the type of bread that you're eating. Okay. So like uh, throughout the Publican brand, we focus on uh, local ingredients, and at PQB, it's it's local flour and uh, and nat uh, natural fermentation. So the uh, the long fermentation helping break down a lot of the things that are in the flour. Uh, makes it digestible, makes it delicious, and um, it's the way we really believe in, in making bread. And it's that fermentation that makes it more digestible? Yep. Okay. Exactly. Interesting. Yep. Kind of like the way people talk about, oh, wine in Europe doesn't give you a hangover. Well, it's made differently than it is. Exactly. Here. Okay. Yep. Um, all right, let's get started here. Uh, what are we making, and uh, how do we do it, and can even an idiot like me do it? Uh, so, uh, well, I'm not sure about your skill set, but... Um, <laughs> You're not the first person to tell me that in my life. <laughs> but I, I believe it's pretty easy. I mean, it's, it's uh, we got flour, butter, sugar, okay. uh, tomatoes, cheese. You know, there's not, there's not a, whole, a whole lot that goes into it, so okay. I'm, I'm sure that you could, you could probably do it. Okay, let's go. Uh, so, what we're doing, it's the uh, height of summer, so I brought some heirloom tomatoes. We're doing an heirloom tomato tart. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, the first thing that we do is we're going to make our uh, tart crust, and all the tart crust is is I use local stone mill flour from Janie's Mill. Okay. Um, and uh, it's an all purpose flour. Going to add in uh, butter and uh, some sugar and some uh, salt. Sorry, salt so, was first and sugar was that, was that. So, but already we're not using a store bought tart that may have other ingredients in it that we don't love. Exactly. Got it. Okay. Yep, exactly. So uh, what you would normally do is this would go into a food processor. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, don't have one here today, so okay. we can either uh, mix it you know, forever right now with our hands, right. or we can use this one that I brought. Bada bing, bada boom, voila. All right. It's been we're... through a food processor. It's been through a food yeah. processor. So uh, what you do is you just uh, whip it together until it's a dough, mm -hmm. you wrap it up, and then you chill it for at least an hour. Okay. Okay. Uh, next, we put some flour down on uh, the table here. And um, you want to get out some aggression? Yes. All right. So now right. we're gonna we're gonna beat it into submission here. Do I, do I roll it or? Uh, beat no, it? no. You're actually gonna you're actually gonna whack oh, it. Okay. Yeah, whack it. There you go. And that's gonna. Oh, this is real nice. It's nice, isn't yeah. it? Cool. So now what we're gonna do? Would you like me to stop whacking? Yep, it? We can stop okay. whacking it. Yeah. We just we just want to loosen it up a little bit. Okay. But you seem to have a lot of aggression. <laughs> Thank so, you very uh, much. Again, like... you're not the first person who's told me that. <laughs> uh, so uh, we then are just going to roll it and. Don't be afraid of flour here, and it, it might crack and break a little bit. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we'll fix it once it, get, it gets into the tart pan. So what we're going to do is just roll it to about a quarter inch or so thick, and you can rotate it if you need. I'm glad to see yours breaks a little too, because I think a lot, so many people worry about getting it perfect. Well, you see, you, you know, it broke because you hit it so much. <laughs> Seriously? No. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> All right. So uh, then I just take my tart shell and I flip it upside down. All right. I'm just going to press it, and that uh, that is going to create a nice little form for me. Beautiful. Okay. Apparently my whacking was acceptable. Yeah, the whacking okay. is acceptable. All yeah. right. Uh, and then it just goes into the tart shell, and then you kind of just press okay. into the thing, and it comes up on the side here. Now, uh, uh, also going on in summer is mm -hmm. our uh, our event, right? Yes. So we're doing uh, we're doing a Chicago Gourmet. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, a couple days in September. The one that that, that uh, I'm doing with uh, with Paul Kahn is um, mm -hmm. the Grand Crew. Okay. Uh, it's uh, September 28th, um, and there's two two things to it. Paul's hosting the whole thing, uh, so that'll be really exciting. Um, uh, and uh, but there's two there's two events there's like the daytime uh, uh, blackout party right and then there's the white party from uh, from I think it's uh, from seven until ten okay and this is just a great opportunity whether it's crew or Chicago gourmet as a whole for people to sample from restaurants and chefs that they may have heard about but potentially aren't always accessible. Exactly. Yeah. So I'll be there. Paul will be there. We got uh, Tony Priolo. We've got um, uh, Joe Flam, Ty Dong. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Beverly Kim and uh, Johnny Clark from Anelia. 
Uh, great restaurant if you haven't been there. Yeah, some big names. All um, right, let, let's get back to the tart because we only have about 45 seconds sure. left. So what we're going to do is I uh, brought some heirloom tomatoes from my garden, actually. Beautiful. And um, uh, once our tart shells are lined, then I take strachino cheese. It's kind of like a tangy mozzarella. Okay. And then uh, put them into uh, put it into the bottom of the, the tart pan here. Mm -hmm. And then I place just a nice, like, kind of hero slice of tomato. It's a right nice up. thick slice, yeah. Nice thick slice. Uh, and then we'll do a little salt, a little uh, pepper, and just a, uh, a touch of olive oil. And then these are going to go into a magic oven. A magic oven. And also in the oven down here is some baked ones. And look at the finished product. That is absolutely beautiful. So we baked these 350 for probably 25, 30 minutes. It's nice and okay. nice color on them. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the education on bread as well. You got it. Look forward to sampling from public and quality breads. Uh, Chicago Gourmet is September 21st through the 29th. You can check out chicagogourmet.org for more information. And public and quality bread has locations in Westtown and Oak Park. There's their website, publicandqualitybread.com. You can also give them a follow on the socials. We'll be right back.